All right, staff, I'm going to show you how to use your Google Drive to host large files that you want to share in your effectiveness uh, program on mylearningplan.com. So here we go. Basically, I logged into my Google Drive right here, and I'm going to create a folder that's going to hold my artifacts. So I use the Create button, and I created a new folder, and I'm going to call it Artifacts. There we go. Hit create and you're going to see that it will pop up right here at the top. Once I've done that, I'm going to go into the folder by clicking on it. And I'm going to use the upload button right here. And I'm going to upload a file. Mm -hmm. On my desktop over here, I have uh, a large keynote with a lot of pictures in it and stuff. Uh, too large to be hosted on mylearningplan.com. So I'm going to upload it into this folder called Artifacts on my drive. So I'm going to make sure I'm selecting Desktop, and there's my Keynote that I've affectionately called Artifact. And click Choose, and it is Google Drive uploads it. And you can see right there I get a message that it's uploaded, so I can delete this. Next thing I'm going to do is share the file with our building principal, and then also. Um, copy a URL that I can paste in a document which will then be my artifact that I upload so here I go I'm gonna select artifact and I'm gonna share it I'm gonna type in my building principle make sure that I select the Moodle address not the first class one there we go and I'm also, after I've done that, I'm going to take, click in the URL box up here, and I'm going to copy that address. Now I'm going to send it. This gives Mr. Tauscher, our building principal, the permission to download and view this file. And click Done. And the next step is to open up a Pages document here. And I am going to paste in the URL quickly highlight it, go to my inspector, select the hyperlink uh, or the link inspector up here and with, with my whole link highlighted I'm going to click the button that says enable as a hyperlink. Now if I click off of it this is now a clickable link. At this point I'm going to save this document and call it artifact or whatever makes sense to you and I'm going to save it again to my desktop and now I'm all set to use this file this new pages file as my actual artifact in my learning plan so if I go to my learning plan right here log myself in I'm all set to upload that to my documentation log so this is the file I'll upload because this is the big one. This file simply has a URL, a link that posts to uh, where this file is located. That's the best way to do that. Hope it helps. Let me know if you need any more help.